Welcome back Guardians, in today's video we're going to be doing a legendary weapon review of Pride Eve's Revenge. The legendary raid sniper which you can get from completing the Vault of Glass. This snob has three sorts on it, fire flight, precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode, flared magwell for faster reload, quick draw for faster drawing of the weapon and field scout for more ammo which ups the clip size from four to six but we'll get into that later in the video. It also has Oracle Disrupt that, which is useful when in the Vault of Glass for killing the Oracles. And also has Feeding Frenzy, which allows us to reload the weapon quicker. This is a brilliant gun. I've looked forward to making this review and I've enjoyed making it. So let's get into it. Now the three sites for this weapon start off with the first site, TAC SYS LS15. Mid zoom scope, useful for unpredictable situations. The second sort, which I use on my class setup, is the Ambush SLH25. Agile snappy scope, handles beautifully, rewards a skilled hand. This is my preferred scope for this gun. And the third long view SLR10. Low zoom scope, improved range and handling. So this is, you can see, longer range. Now, I want to show you the flared magwell perk here. For starters, it's worth pointing out that this weapon already has amazing reload speed. But when we put the magwell on, as you can see here, the gun is going to reload a lot quicker. Moving on to the next perk, we have Quick Draw, which allows us to draw the weapon even faster. So what I'm going to do here, just for you to see, I'm going to switch back and forth between weapon a couple of times and then I will take the perk back off and you can see the reduced speed. But again, this weapon is all about speed and it is drawn incredibly quick anyway. So as you can see there, a slight drop in the speed, but it still comes back very fast. And the final perk on this t out being Field Scout, which allows us to have six shots in the clip instead of four and also ups the reserve ammo size <laughs> this perk that we're going to show off here is feeding frenzy now this is the normal reload speed but with feeding frenzy getting a kill increases reload speed and as you can see there the gun loads incredibly quickly and the final perk on this gun being oracle disruptor this comes in very useful in bolt glass as you can see here oracles are quickly dispatched in PvE, this gun performs brilliantly. One bullet to the head for a kill, two to the body. And this is most likely the best sniper I've used in the Crucible so far. So easy to get headshots and even more so to get kills, but I'll talk about that later on. Game now, when I said about easy headshots, as you can see here, because the stability on the gun is so good, you hardly need to move speed on it if you miss your shot look i'm about to in a second you can get that shot back very quickly firefly in effect there getting the headshots and making the target explode but i've gotten more headshots with this gun than i'd say any other sniper i've used before because the stability is perfect now although i say this gun is amazing for getting headshots it's even better at quick two bullets to the body kills at a certain point I realised that I was getting this and I just figured I'll try and not get a headshot. I'm just going to try to take people out of the body and it seemed to work pretty well for me. So if you aren't the most accurate sniper, this is the gun for you. Or if you're trying to become more accurate, this will also help you as well. In my opinion, this is one of the very best snipers on the game for PvP. So if you're looking for a sniper to take into Crucible, I strongly suggest you get this and try it out. I don't think my words do this good enough justice. And I'm sure if you try it out, you'll end up loving it just as much as I do. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like or subscribe. And if there's any videos you would like to see in the future, don't be afraid to ask. Just leave it in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Well done.